Well, it certainly looks and feels like a pleasant Saturday evening across Northeast Ontario, thanks to a couple of ridges of high pressure that came up on the map this morning, along with the midnight to noon satellite image. We can see three ridges of high pressure just kind of sitting along the southern tip of the Great Lakes. Leftover residual clouds to start off the day this morning. Low overcast, gray, dull ceiling with some occasional isolated showers for the Timmins area, which we'll look on the radar picture in a moment. Departing low pressure and trough over Quebec is responsible for the maintaining of the cloud cover this morning. But by the lunch hour to mid-afternoon, we welcome the partial clearing trend thanks to the power of these three ridges of high pressure. And to the 5 o'clock evening, we can see the way that the systems are set up. 1,017 millibars, which is a very healthy, normal reading with that ridge of high pressure so, sitting over the southern part of Lake Michigan. Fair to clear skies for just about everyone across northeast Ontario. But watch out. Your public forecast may be updated quite often tonight into tomorrow. We have a disturbance sitting over northwest Ontario, which could trigger some significant, hopefully non-severe weather in terms of showers, maybe some thunderstorms going into Sunday evening. And the last bit of active weather that we've seen on the radar picture from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m., a widespread batch of scattered to isolated showers between Highways 11 East, Highway 101 East, 655, and a little bit between Cochrane and the New Yorker Falls. The Timmins Airport did report some scattered showers on and off throughout the day for today, which we'll take a look at the information pages coming up in just a moment. Along with the information pages, I'm happy to report that we did have a hotspot on the map. That and more details after this.